Welcome back to another episode of Backpacking Latin America, in which two Irish people attempt to travel from Mexico City to Brazil and visit every country in between. You rejoin us on a chilly morning from an even chillier hostel in Puno, on the Peruvian side of the Peru-Bolivia border. Today, we'd be crossing that border, just after the daily annoyance of packing my bag. This room is Baltic. As mentioned in my last video, we had booked our journey with the Bolivia Hop, a popular hop-on, hop-off style service that operates between Cusco in Peru and La Paz in Bolivia. Leg 1 had taken us from Cusco to Puno, and we were about to embark on Leg 2, which would drop us in a small lakeside town called Copacabana. have just arrived in the border. The journey took about two and a half hours. A very picturesque journey, actually. We kind of skirted around the edge of the lake. We also converted our last bit of soles to Bolivi... What's the currency called? I think it's called the Boliviarino. I could be saying that wrong. <laughs> oh, gracias. Gracias. Apparently this arch up here is the border. What is it? An AirPod. Oh, feck. I'll bring it. See you later, Peru. Hello, Bolivia. Even the tarmac changed. I do enjoy a good international border. I'm not gonna lie. Hola. That's a vaccination. A vaccination. It's okay. Gracias. And just as the stamp came crashing down on the unsuspecting piece of passport paper, we were officially in Bolivia. Gracias, amigo. A very, very simple border crossing there. We were told that the border is basically invisible and you definitely get the sense of that. Now we're jumping on a bus for another 20 minutes and we should arrive in Copacabana very soon. <laughs> It wasn't long before we did arrive in Copacabana. Here, we grabbed our bags, climbed the hill of Calvary, and checked into our hostel. Oh yes, I haven't mentioned, we were going to be staying here for one night. All right, this is the room, even though we booked a four bed, myself and Sarah are going to be in here. It's a little bit dark, but it's only four. One night. Our only plan for the rest of the day was to relax, try out some Bolivian beer, and gaze back towards Peru over Lake Titicaca. Interesting side note, the lake was so much cleaner on this side compared to Puno, which might not be anyone's fault necessarily, just something I noticed. Definitely nice to get a little bit of a sleep in this morning. It is about half 11 at the minute. We've come to a place here that do baguettes for baguettes? That do baguettes for breakfast. Hopefully it's decent. Because our bus to La Paz isn't leaving till about five, half as five, we're gonna go out to the Isla del Sol today. The Isla del Sol is a remote, idyllic island located in the Bolivian portion of Lake Titicaca. Surrounded by crystal clear waters, it boasts stunning views of the Bolivian shoreline and beyond to the Andes. So, after our baguettes, we jumped back onto a boat arranged by the Bolivia Hop and took in some more incredible views of the lake. told 
to meet the boat on a different port, like on the opposite side of the island, in an hour and 10 minutes. And we've about a 40 minute walk ahead of us. So we actually don't have that much time. So let's get to it. And that's exactly what we did. We stopped here and there to admire some of the crazy views and to watch the locals in their natural habitat. What the hell is that? He's not happy. Back in Copacabana, we had just enough time to squeeze in some grub before boarding the Bolivia hop for the final leg to La Paz. We had one other little obstacle to contend with before getting to our final destination. If you look closely at the road we're traveling on here, you'll see at this point it disappears for about 500 meters meaning us and the bus would have to briefly board a boat. Gracias. Back on solid ground. After this, it was plain sailing to La Paz. in here, Megan's up here, and who's that? Don't know. Don't care. Don't know, don't care. Don't what the hell?